The following is a special presentation from ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Welcome to All Tell Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. With me is my counterpart, Mr. Peter O'Keefe. And Peter, looking at these teams, the offensive line is a strength for both of them. Wouldn't you concur? Will be third down. Number 15. Throws a beauty to the right side. And they get the first on third and... Number 17. Shooters his man on the finer points of coverage on this play. A nice catch, but also a nice move. Number 24 Passes hammers the receiver and forces him to drop Number the ball incomplete. The that will bring up... <laughs> Minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. It's intercepted! Interception! Bang down at the 18. his man on the finer points of coverage on this play. A nice catch, but also a... Number 15 makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. Gets the toss and gets past the line. And he's in for the touchdown. Hard to cheer. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Possessed out there. He's a beast, Dan. That's not good at all for quarterbacks around the league. No dice, and it falls incomplete. And that'll do it That's for the, the first of the half of this quarter. one. The Jaguars are out in front, seven to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now let's take a look at the halftime stats. And boy, look at the difference in rushing yards. The Jaguars should be way ahead on the scoreboard. But somehow, they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 24 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Patriot midway through the first, Wilson would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Pats, after a missed field goal, number 47, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Jags back at it after their D made a stop in the red zone. Jones was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Number 21 got the carry as they pounded at him on the ground and he made the most of it. A five-yard touchdown for the Jaguars. And that's where we'll leave this one. Jags are holding on to a lead, seven to nothing. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. <laughs> Number 44 grabs the Touchdown fastball Patriots. over the middle and he's in for the score. Yeah! Let me get wicked on you right here. Yeah! That's a score. 
Number 15, lobs this one over the middle. It's caught at the 31. Locked down hard at the 37. That will bring up first down. Number 15 has the arm to get this pass in the air despite throwing it off the wrong foot. Let's see that again. Oh, he connects anyway. That's a little bit of luck and a whole lot of... time in the world on this play, Danny. He could have made himself a sandwich while he was waiting for the ball. <laughs> Always back to the food team. On this play, but he still makes the catch. That's good concentration and focus. It's worth another look. the field and finds his man that my friends is a strong arm that touchdown will stretch Shanghai's the football for the interception, but watch. Gets a few more after the catch. Great play all around. Peter, the D is honing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. Well, they'll wait until the last second to snap this one and take as much time as possible off the clock here. And that is going to That's do it for this one. The Jaguars come out on top, 21 to 14. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Jaguars stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Newton connected with his man on this one. A 19-yard touchdown for the Patriots. The Patriots even the score 7-all. The Jags answer right back, the ball at the 28-yard line. Number 15 would find his target on this one. A 24-yard play that set up a Jaguar touchdown. Jags leading by seven. Number 15 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. They're now up by 14. The Pats come right back. Number 16 came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 46-yard play that set up a Patriot touchdown. Pats losing 21 to 14. Number 35 was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. And that's where we'll leave this one. Jags edge out a win 21 to 14. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Number 15 is on the sidelines with Susie Culver. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You excelled under pressure today, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What put you guys over the top? Our defensive guys were just animals tonight. They were all over the place, and I think they got on their heels a bit. They made things a lot easier for us on the offensive end for sure. Chris, back to you. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN, celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.